joining us, your eminences, honored guests, members of the clergy, seminarians, very dear friends and family. As I now welcome you all today. About 15 years ago, His Eminence Herak Serpazan suggested undertaking the expansion of the St. Nurses campus by constructing His Holiness Karikin the first educational and theological center. It was Serpazan's dedication and perseverance that brought this project and this campus into reality. Thank you, Sir Pazan. I would also like to extend my thanks to His Eminence Homeland Sir Pazan for taking such a keen interest in the establishment and for helping advance the important mission of St. Nurses Seminary throughout the Western Diocese. Thank you. A big thank you as well to all the devoted people supporting the center. Their martyrs, Father Daniel, Artemis Nazarian, Haig Aryan, Hago Kuyumjan, Michael Haratunyan, Kevor Toroyan, Zaben Tashian, Shahe Jabejan, to mention but a few, who have generously dedicated their time over the years and helped bring this new center into fruition. We also thank Arda Haratunyan and Elisa Kaleshian for organizing this beautiful event today. <laughs> Amongst us and participating in this joyous occasion are the family of His Holiness Karikin I of blessed memory his beloved sister, Yester, his nephew and niece, Hago Pentanin, and their families. We are also very happy that the Dizian family has come together to build the Sup Hago Chapel dedicated to the memory of my dear parents, Hagop and Hungaber. I am I am very pleased that my sister Ankine Dakesian, my brother Numar and his family, as well as my niece Eileen Margosian and her husband Vahe and two of our grandchildren, Haig and Sabrina, are present here with us for this occasion. <laughs> to preserve and promote our Armenian religious institution is of prime importance. Just as important is to recognize the power of teaching. Building state-of-the-art educational centers, such as this one, will have a positive impact on future generations of particular importance is building and supporting a seminary in the Western world for the training of our clergy and lay people here in North America. I can think of no more fitting institution 
that this theological center in the name of His Holiness Kari King the First, a leader who has become a transformational force for our people and our church. As he himself once said, a nation cannot exist simply in the, on the basis of economic and political stability. It needs moral perseverance, and the source of this is the church. Three years ago, His Holiness Karakin II, Catholicos of all Armenians, honored us with his visit to Armagh. Behap Ardeh, your blessing and prayers are an inspiration and encouragement to keep the two centers dedicated to His Holiness Karakin I in Ejmiadzin, as well as in Armong, alive. Thank you, Vehapa. Thank you, Vehapa. Thank you very much. Our Armenian Church has always been and continues to be the strongest force that brings and keeps our Armenian heritage and our global Armenian nation with its communities around the world together. And here I would like to call His Holiness Karakin I. Let us be makers of history, improving the present and putting the future on a firm foundation. We all hope this center will prosper under the hospices of Holy Ejmiadzin. His Holiness Karakin the First legacy has enriched our spiritual, cultural, and intellectual lives. As I and I hope, his legacy will continue to inspire the path towards Christian unity and that his writings will remain a source of wisdom and inspiration for generations to come. Thank you.